Hey everybody, this is Herschel Froome from High School Top 200 and this uh, 2016 review of John McGlation College is brought to you by Fine Line Barbers. Fine Line Barbers have um, gone together with a big barbering supplier and they've put together uh, our Aotearoa barbering competition. This competition will be held on one day in September 2017. Um, Vinny will be setting up a, a Facebook page and also an Instagram page for barbers to put their, uh, their work and their stuff onto... Um, this Facebook page and this Instagram page so that we as viewers can follow these pages and follow these um, barbers uh, throughout the year so that we can get excited about what these guys can do. Uh, the best thing about this is you can actually get a, a haircut from these guys um, on the day of the competition. Uh, this competition is to promote um, the barbering industry and how much talent we, we have here in New Zealand. Uh, so let all your barbers know that in September 2017 there's going to be an altered or barber competition. It's also for um, uh, barbers and also uh, barbering supplier companies to also get together and to be closer together as an industry and to sort of work out um, how they can also um, be a part of it all together. Uh, they can also um, strengthen their um, their networking together and so. Um, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be exciting. It's going to have um, a lot of things there to do. And Vinny from Fine Line Barber is going to set all that up soon. And so look out for 2017 September for the Aotearoa Barber Competition. Um, now John McGlashan is, or McGlashan or McGlashan. Sorry, I don't actually know how you say it. I think it's McGlashan. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> this team was the only team in the whole regular season, I'm not talking playoffs or anything like that, but the whole regular season to not lose a game. They went 16-0. and 0. So, like, if you look at um, uh, their worst losses, that there is none. There's no worst loss for them. And their best win is obviously um, going to be that um, that Otago boys one. Um and I counted that one because that one actually fell under the gap of, of that. So, like, that was one of the ones that are uh, in the regular season. Um, but I wish John McGlashan actually played some... I mean, like, it's it's not their fault. It's not up to it's not up to them. That's just the competition that they're in. Um, uh, but I wish they travelled out a bit more and, and played other teams. Like, And then that's where I like the um, uh, being able to mix up uh, sort of the competition and, and having a lot of inter-school games like you guys call it a lot of inter-school games because um, John McGlashan would have been great against like other schools as well like um, there would have been some I mean I, I think I would have liked to see them play someone like Scots College um, uh, Fielding would be another one that would, that would be pretty cool to see them against St. Paul's Collegiate would be another one um, I think that was John uh, St. John's um, College Hamilton would be another one I thought would be pretty cool even Westlake boys would be another good one with Rosmini I think if they went and played those I would be keen to just to see how good they went up against those schools as well De La Salle would have been another school I wish John Glacier would play um, just to see how good that they actually do against those kind of teams because I mean I personally think that they they would win against a lot of those teams like and, and that's and that's kind of the sad thing about it is that um, I think a top thirty two or top sixty four um, national competition would have been better for John McGlashan because they would have been able to show everybody that it's not just them winning down there they can win all over the country um, and I mean like if you look at some of their scores like uh, I think their first couple of games were were pretty close because they played. Um, Otago boys second 15 first and they won by five points then they played Waitaki boys who I think is a pretty good school as well and they won by 14 points uh, they beat Otago South Otago high school by 10 points and then from there on they were just putting up you know sort of basketball numbers um, they beat uh, Tyree 94-0 Kavanaugh 56-0, 58-12 against Dunstan, 101 against Mount Aspiring, against you know Kings High School 65 points, St Kevin's 60, uh, 96 points, 
and then they even went up to St Andrews and beat them 66-7. But so like like all these games is just like for, and and I think sometimes it gets boring to win by that much. Um, it gets boring uh, to the point where you feel like you as a team is prob you're you're probably not growing the way that that you want to grow as a team. Like you want you want hard games. The reason why you want hard games is because you want to see how everyone reacts to having that pressure on them, or or having uh, the ball in their hands and then seeing what decisions that they make. Or um, when you're on the line and see how many guys actually throw everything into every tackle. When you're winning by that much, it's like you just sometimes you just don't care, or like you just think, well, I'm not going to chase them that hard. Let's just let them get it. We'll just kick off and then we'll just trap, trap them down at the other end and just carry on doing what we're doing. And so, like, I think I think sometimes at these points, like you have, you know, uh, you have uh, sort of the attitude like that sometimes. So I think I wish I really wish that they would have got with some. Um, some other schools from around the country and play them. Obviously, the travel and money and all that kind of stuff, but it would just be cool to see. Um, Rory Ferguson was probably one of um, the most underrated uh, players in the country, and um, and this is where and this is where the competition like that is um, where I'd like that is because I would like to see Rory go up against some of the top open sides and number eights that we had in the country, because I think that he would be up there with them too, just like I ranked them that high too. But I think he can hang out with these guys. I mean, obviously he had the, um, he's had his league um, pretty much set uh, since he was 15, and he's always had that chance. But then when the opportunity comes with the Broncos, of course you're going to sign. Of course you're going to want to go with them. I just personally would have liked to see him just hold off and just even tell them, yeah, I'll sign with you, just let me play my rugby and see how many reps I can get under my CV and then I'll come over with you. Something like that. Because I reckon Rory would have been up there. I think um, even the guys that know him from league will also vouch for the fact that this guy can do a lot of stuff. He can hang out with everyone um, in terms of talent with the top in the country, but the Broncos just picked up a mean player. That's, how, that's what I reckon. Um... Woody Kirkwood is another guy that I really liked, and Sam Mill. And these uh, Sam and, and Woody, I think, were probably one of the best, uh, probably along with Mags and also Hastings, and maybe Christchurch Boys. They probably had the best locking combination in the country. Woody and Sam, I think, would have would have matched up with everybody, with with anyone. Um, and they've been together. In the first thing for three years now, I think. Um, Woody, Sam, and also Rory brought up fifty games this year uh, for John McGlashan, and so it was cool to it was cool to um, to see them go through those feats. But again, I just wanted to see them against the best. They it would have been cool to see uh, Woody and Sam go up against some of the, the best the best locks that we had in the country. Um, I think. Uh, the game against Otago boys, I actually thought that they were going to lose, but I didn't think that they were going to lose by a blowout. I thought they were going to lose actually by the same amount of points that they that they won by. And then, um, and even when I saw the the results of the um, Southland boys game, I thought maybe they put everything out against Otago boys that when it came to Southland. It was just too much to, to, to do that two weeks in a row, which is which for any team is, is too much too, especially when you don't have that resume of hard games during the year and coming up to do those games. You, you just don't know how to bounce back like that as players. Uh, the best thing um, about John McGlash is that they have good players coming back and good guys that would be able to fill in. One guy I'm looking out for is uh, Rory's younger brother, uh, Leroy, who's actually a year 10 and who actually played the full year at Blindside. A bigger kid, um, I think at the, when he gets to year 13, maybe a bit stronger, but he's going to be a bigger kid. So I'm pretty keen to see what he looks like. Um, Hunter Cleland is another one. Uh, Toby Jarvie is another one. Oliver uh, Giddies. Um, you know, these kind of guys. Cullum is another one. Uh, so like, I'm, I'm really keen to see what this team has and see how they rebuild and try and get this team back 
at the top again and that they can also be a, a reoccurring side of strong players and strong teams so that they can stay up on that same ledge and level as Southland boys and Otago boys. They have a lot of talent down there in the south and so I only hope that they have um, that I can talk about them next year like I'm talking about them this year. Um, we'll see how that goes. Jimmy Sinclair is, uh, is going to be a beast next year. He's going to be one of the best uh, midfielders in the country, so have a look out for him. And, um, yeah, that's my review on John McGlashan. Um Let's hope that they have a good team like this next year. That's my review. Peace.